Uh, well, it's a it's a very very intricate process uh, in which uh, I I basically try to uh, I start off by drinking a fifth of scotch and uh, then get down to my underwear and uh, run out on the highway uh, for probably two to three hours and then go back to the computer and begin composing the character. I put so much trust in the day that you're going to find it on the day. And um, so it's really being just being free to, to riff, you know, not being, not being uptight in any way and, and just letting all the worries go and just really just, just, go, just go play is when you'll find the best stuff, whether it's in a, a very serious moment or a, a comedic moment. I was a movie star for a long time, and now, obviously, got beyond that because, you know, I can't do the romantic... You don't do romantic uh, things, with, on an, at least on an equal basis with young women. You may have a part where you've got a mistress or, or something. Uh, but then, then you become a movie actor, which is a vastly different thing. And so then you have fun. But you, what you've got to remember in my case is that I, I did nine years of repertory, which is a different play every week. So what I'm really doing in a very much slower basis is repertory because I, I now go for... The part, the part has to be as different from me and, the, and as different from the last part that, uh, that I did as I could possibly get. I think one of the worst things for actors is when you want something so much when you really need it, when you want this one to work, when you, you try too hard, basically. Um, and then people can't relax and enjoy the film. They sense your tension, really. And film is this very mysterious and elusive kind of world where you have to give it 110% and you also have to be very relaxed with it. Um, and that's sort of the trick. How do you do that? That is one of the things that's nice about working with people that you know well as you are physically comfortable around them. I, I you know, he, I, I grab him just at a lot of points in the movie and hit him and kind of slap him around, you know. I mean, I just did a movie with Ray Liotta. I wouldn't do that to him in a million years. He would murder me. So uh, that's one of the things that's nice that goes along with with working with your friends is you do, you know that they won't murder you and you, you'll wind up in the trunk of a car in Jersey. You know that won't happen. But with Ray, that, that, that could happen. It's not as simple as saying, oh, I haven't played the part that will define me. I think it's more playing the part. I always see, see choosing a role, working with an actor, uh, with another actor, working with a director, choosing a script. All of those things are like hoping for some great astrological alignment, you know, that only maybe happens every 30 years, or like citing Halley's Comet or something. And, uh, and it takes a hell of a lot to get those all in place. And sometimes you get them and maybe one's just off and that, you know, and you get a great, you get great work out of that. Um, I haven't quite had the full alignment yet. And, uh, and a lot of that's luck. And a lot of it's timing and chance and all of those things. So I guess that's a better way, a more uh, metaphorical way of putting it. I was with a friend of mine uh, at school. I think I was uh, about 16, maybe, maybe 17. Still at school. Um, and I went along to an audition for a school play as a joke. Um, it was the Dracula Spectacular, the musical. And the woman who, I, I'd never done a drama class with her, I wasn't in the drama group or anything, but the woman who ran the drama department there was an extraordinary woman called Jill Walker, an absolutely extraordinary woman. And she, she said, okay, you, now you, so the joke backfired. And as a consequence, Myself, you know, and um, and I had to do it. I had to do three performances as Dracula, sing, dance, all of that stuff in front of the entire school and all the bullies that was, you know, uh, that go along with that. And it was walking out on that stage when when I actually pissed myself the first time I walked out on stage. Um, but walking out on that stage um, for the first time hooked me, and that was that. I'm starting to actually feel more sillier and sillier as an actor, as a grown man, you know, pretending to, to, to be upset or, you know, I'm really, I'm really, I think it's a younger man's game, really.
Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below.